our following breaking news tonight. Syracuse University has fired assistant basketball coach Bernie Fine. This after a third man came forward claiming he was molested by Fine and a taped phone conversation was released between the first accuser, Bobby Davis, and Fine's wife from 2002. Lori Fine told Davis she knew, quote, everything that went on and Brett Stagnetti is here with the details on this. Obviously uh, most of us in, in shock at this point. It, it, just new details all the time. You never know what you're going to hear mm -hmm. next Christine. Right now Bernie Fine has not been charged with any crimes but the bizarre details of his alleged sex abuse and the emergence of that third accuser were just too much for Syracuse University. Chancellor Nancy Cantor fired Fine Sunday night. Police went through Fine's home on Friday thanks to a search warrant and removed filing cabinets and other items according to the Syracuse Post standard. That warrant was granted when the third accuser, another former SU ball boy, Zach Tomaselli, came forward claiming he was molested. On top of that, the first accuser, Bobby Davis, taped a phone conversation with Fine's wife back in 2002. That tape was made public today by ESPN and the Post Standard. On that tape, Fine's wife tells Davis she knew what was going on between the boy and her husband. SU head coach Jim Beheim made statements last week saying that Davis was a liar and was out for money. Tonight, after the firing, Beheim issued this statement. The allegations that have come forth today are disturbing and deeply troubling. I am personally very shocked because I have never witnessed any of the activities that have been alleged. I believe the university took the appropriate step tonight. What is most important is that this matter be fully investigated and that anyone with information be supported to come forward so that the truth can be found. I deeply regret any statements I made that might have inhibited that from occurring or been insensitive to one sports fan had to say tonight. They did what they thought was right. That's all you can ask them to do, I guess, right? Yeah. It's better than keeping them around and then they find out he's guilty and then what's that look like? Obviously, this story is far from over. We'll keep tracking it. We'll see if the investigation results in any charges against Bernie Fine. But tonight, after 35 years on Jim Beheim's staff, Bernie Fine has been fired at SU. Obviously, a story.